so pumped today. I'm so pumped. DIY friends, that was intense. DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is going to be a super chill one. <laughs> Listen, straight up, I feel like I've been on a bit of a DIY marathon lately. There's been some crazy big projects that take multiple days and I was just thinking to myself, I need a good, simple DIY project. You know, something that's relatively easy to make, be done in a weekend. What is that project, you ask? It's gonna be a coffee table and it uses this. What is this, you ask? Well, this is a can of DIY marbled magic. And when I learned about it, I said, I have to have you and I have to have you in my hands. And here we are. Let's not make Make it weird. I'm the king of the world! So we are going to do a project that uses this product and I will explain more about it. But of course, before we get into it, if you are new here, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. Join our wonderful Creative Beast community. We do all things home here and sometimes we get a bit weird, but we like weird. Boom, 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 boom. So with that said, let's get into it. Editor, roll the tape. Okay, so let's talk about our super cool marbled coffee table. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like there are a bajillion ways to make a coffee table. And honestly, I just really didn't feel like making your typical round or oval or rectangular insert shape here coffee table. I mean, like we are a creative channel. Let's get creative, shall we? So I went on a bit of a search and I came across this photo. So this is a very popular space designed by interior architect and designer, Emmanuel Simon. This space has been featured in many places. It was the coffee table in particular that I was drawn to, obviously. I couldn't figure out who made this coffee table or where it came from. So if anyone knows watching, please comment below so I can provide proper credit. But what I loved about this coffee table was this kind of like yin yang effect. Not only that, it's kind of multi-purpose because it can be pulled apart as two separate tables. It's very cool, very unique. So I decided to use this design inspiration, but I feel like the end result is going to look very different because I've been dying to use this. So this is a spray paint that helps create a faux marbled look if you haven't guessed it. I actually learned about this from an online creator, Jahan from S'more Home. She is a marvelous home DIY lifestyle creator from Australia. I've linked her in my description box. Go check her out. We connected on Instagram and like, now I just feel like we're friends. <laughs> but she DIY'd this marble plinth using this product and I was just, I was on the floor. So I can't take credit for finding this product, but thank you Jahan because like, it's because of you that it's in my hands right now. Now let's talk design. I'm actually gonna stand up for this. Let's talk design because I went back and forth with how I wanted this to look. So I decided to make a little mini version. Do you guys wanna see it? It's so cute. Okay, ready? Look at this little mini version of my table. In my mind, there are always two ways to test the look of your DIY builds. You either draw it out, or if you're like me, you need a tangible visual thing in front of you, I say create a mini version. And I mean, when it comes to these foam core models, like you can either make it to scale or you can make smaller versions of it. Doing it this way, it just helps me so much. And because of this version, I was able to see the arched legs on the front and I was like, you know what? It's not gonna look good. I don't like the way that that looks. I think I'm gonna go with the straight legs. I think it's just gonna feel so much cleaner. So it really helped me narrow down my design decisions. I also got to test my marbled spray paint a little bit and I'm like, and like this thing is so adorable. I just wanna keep all these like little mini creations that I make forever, but unfortunately I cannot. I don't know about you guys, I'm super excited to start building this. So let's get to the she shack. To the shack we go. Okay, we are in the she shack. I am geared up, I'm ready to go. I'm just, 
like thrilled. It's warm enough now to just open up all the doors. Such a dream. I'm going to be creating the top with an MDF, a three quarter MDF. And then the bottom is going to be created with a two inch by 12 board. That's going to be nice and thick for the legs. First thing we need to do is I'm going to line up my MDF boards, map out the shape that I want, and we're going to cut it out with the jigsaw. And then from there we can get going on kind of like sanding and shaping it out to what we want it to be. So let's get started. Now that my legs are built, I want to add a little bit of like of a curve to the edge of this whole thing so it looks nice and rounded. To do that, I'm going to be using my router and this curved router bit. I've set the depth on my router so that the bit is just going to skim the top and give it a nice rounded edge and it's going to look beautiful. This is really simple and such an easy way to just like elevate a project. So let's get routering and level this tabletop up. Woo! Guys, I think this is looking really good. I'm like really stoked about this vision coming to life. I'm really glad I decided to screw on the inside pieces and then sandwich it together because like not having to fill in giant screw holes is brilliant. But I do have a can of wood filler here and I'm just gonna start filling in all of the lines here and any of the screw holes on the side. Then we can sand it up and then get it primed. Optimus Prime. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's roll. I'm excited. This looks great. I think all of like the nice rounded edges look great. Uh, I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with this day. Yeah, I'm feeling good. So I think I'm going to let this dry and then tomorrow morning we're going to paint this a beautiful glossy black and then we're going to marble and then we get to see this table in its full glory and I'm excited for it and I hope you are too. So with that said, I'll see you tomorrow friends. Good morning, DIY friends. What are we doing today? We gotta paint this first, and I have a high gloss black paint. So this is the color blackout. You guys know it's my favorite color. It's a high gloss though, so I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like when it's all glossy and kind of like fancy. So let's make this fancy and let's get painting. Woohoo! First coat is done. I'm very excited about that. Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to do two coats, maybe even three, we'll see. This is definitely gonna get done today, which makes me so happy. And we're gonna have a cool outcome and we get to play with cool marble spray paint and we got to paint something black. It's like a win, 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 win all around. Win, 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 no matter. 
I'd love to challenge myself, but there's also, you need to throw in these feel good projects once in a while because it can get a bit deflating when you're always learning something new and you're just like struggling through the whole thing. The outcome is always great, but there always is a struggle. So it's nice to do like a feel good project, especially if you feel like you're looking for an anxiety release or something that's not very stressful for you to make you feel good. That serotonin rushing through your body. This is it. I'm going to let this dry. We're going to keep going and we'll put a second coat on this and so we can get going. So woo! Okay, so I have this set up. I brought this out because I wanted to show you guys something. So when I was doing my test, I didn't have a black spray paint. So I ended up using this like hammered black spray paint that I had, which I'm like, okay, whatever. I just needed it to be black, but it actually ended up giving it some like texture, which I thought actually looked pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna do it on the real one. And then I'm going to do the marble look on top. And I think we're gonna come up with something pretty cool, if you ask me. So first thing, let's get this sprayed. I'm so excited and scared. Okay. Ah, the wind. <laughs> This is my spray painting technique. Oh, I feel really self-conscious about it. It's just cause like, I don't know what to do with this hand. What am I supposed to be like? <laughs> I think I went a bit, a bit Jackson Pollock on that. But I think ultimately we can see the technique and how cool it is. Just maybe I needed to pull it back a little. Weird thing is, it's like, yeah, like it doesn't, it doesn't like leave like a bumpy texture really. Like it's very, it dries flat. It's like magic. Would you say? You're a wizard, Harry. I think, with like any new technique, it needs to be perfected. And I think in this case, less is more. So I'm going to paint over this and then just do like light spurts. <laughs> Actually, it looks really cool right now. It kind of looks like those like granite top tabletops. Ooh, did I just create a new technique? Like leave it like this, but then maybe I should just do a couple lines. Just like, so like, it's just like very minimal. Like maybe like, just like spurt it from really far away. Happy accidents, right friends? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say okay three more times and then we're gonna do something, okay? Okay. No, no. <laughs> Should I just bring this into the she shack? Okay, honestly, I think pulling back was definitely the way to go, but also happy accidents that I think by painting over top, we have this really cool multi-layered effect that makes it feel way more realistic. So I'm thrilled. Okay, at this point, we just need to let it dry. And I think we're ready to finally see this table in its full glory. Are you ready? Let's get to the beauties. Well, I say, my friends, I think we managed to make a project in a weekend. And honestly, if I wasn't filming this, I think I could have got this done in a day. I did end up applying a gloss clear coat on the top just to make sure that it's like super durable, even though that high gloss paint is gonna make it durable already. It's funky, but it's also multifunctional because you can pull it apart and have your own side table. I'm so excited I got to use that marbling effect. Thank you so much to Harn for inspiring me to create this project. You're amazing. Again, I have linked her Instagram down below. You guys should let me know what do you think of this kind of yin yang marble coffee table. It's such a feel good project. I love the outcome. And of course, a big thank you to my Patreon. You guys are amazing. You're the ones that pushed me to 
make this project. It wouldn't have been made without you guys. So thank you so much. If you want to check out my Patreon, I have linked it down below. We do lots of DIY discussions and DIY challenges. We have another one coming up, so you don't want to miss out. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.